Welcome to Barricade Rides, videos for motorcycle enthusiasts. Got a great video for you today. Today we have a collaboration with HSU. So HSU is kind of like a camera accessory company. So they make stuff for like ring lights, uh, tripods, all kinds of things. So they reached out to me. I do a collaboration with something to do with moto vlogging. So we got this package right here. We're about to open it up. Roll that intro and let's get into it. All right, just uh, want to touch base on HSU a little bit. Uh, so they're a company that's been around since 2013. Uh, they are one of the best performing companies on Amazon in the camera market. Just all kinds of accessories that you could possibly need. And being into moto vlogging, GoPro accessories. They have so many things. So, got this box right here. And this one. So first, I'll open this one. Oh, I need a knife. Oh, this is cool. So right here, we have a bunch of extensions. So there's several different sizes that it comes with. It comes with three different screws and they're all anodized black so it even comes with a wrench so you can get it real tight on it tight on there so that way when you're out riding the vibrations of your Harley or whatever you're riding doesn't shake it loose so that, that's fantastic that's one of my biggest concerns and GoPros are not cheap by any means so we just got a small little mount right here and then it gradually gets taller. So one of their suggestions was that I can use this on my helmet. And I don't think I'm gonna be do using it for that because it'd be kinda having this on my helmet like that. Which you get great footage and whatnot, but with my GoPro, Hero Max, this thing is going to come in really handy. And so, here shortly, I'm going to go through and show you how I set this up on my bike. And then we got this one right here. So, this is the one personally I'm most excited about. So it comes with this with a bunch of loose pieces. So these are the normal uh, screws that come with GoPro accessories, something like that, plastic. But with this, the other set, you get this nice metal one. Let's see if we can get the camera to work. So you can tell just the difference, looks, quality, and whatnot. I definitely like the metal one better. And got more adapters. Got the shoe to connect it. Another screw. And then that little wrench as well. So this is the part that like I said, I'm really looking forward to a way to connect it to your face mask of your helmet without using drastic measures. So I'll show you mine real quick. Oh, this is my Simpson helmet, my GoPro setup. So you see right here, I had to put use epoxy on there so so even when I take the GoPro off 
it's permanently attached so it's always going to have this thing so i'll go to a gas station or something pump up gas random people come up to me what's on the front of your helmet and it's like for my gopro so this thing is going to be i'll be able to just pull the stickers off slap it to this helmet and then it's ready for motor vlogging we're going to do the helmet first so first you need need the chin strap kit so it's a butterfly shape and it's made out of some real good strong materials I'm trying to break it up then you need a gopro or some sort of action camera with feet like that and then you need a helmet so i chose to do this to my harley davidson helmet i permanently installed a mount to my simpson so i can't transfer this to there which i would have preferred honestly but this is a good helmet i already went to make sure that it will fit on there and cool part the way this is set up i can still lower the the air vent so i'm stoked on that so i'm gonna go ahead start by installing it i already wiped it off got all the the bugs and whatnot off of it So it's like a, a clear gel epoxy. And then I'm just gonna try to center it and get it on there to the best of my ability. So I'm gonna do it like. I'll press it on there nice and tight. And then I'm gonna take the HSU, the mount right here. I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna try it with just one, one, oh no, I'm gonna have to do two. So I got the one, two on there. Then, I'm just going to put it right in there. So, it's going to work just fine. So this isn't the exact setup I plan on using. I plan on using my other GoPro, but I just set for testing purposes. So I set up just like that. I like it out a little bit further instead of just right up on the mask. So that way I can look through my windscreen and see the back of the screen. So that way I, I can make sure my camera is angled correctly and I could get the best shots possible so this just took literally a moment to install it's on there good and I, I, I couldn't be happier with this this is this is a quieter helmet than my Simpson so motor vlogging is gonna be a lot more fun for me now and so I highly recommend this GoPro adapter. Thing's amazing. All right, after playing with this for a bit, I've grown to become an even bigger fan of it. So, not only is it easy to install, easy to set up and adjust, comes with two arms so you can adjust it. It's the perfect distance away from the actual helmet so that way you can look through the windscreen and see 
the pitch to make sure you're shooting the best shot possible. The, the material is made of plastic, like a uh, PC. Um, it feels real durable. And it kind of looks like a butterfly. The design and whatnot. So very simple. It, you can use this on GoPro 1 through GoPro 10. Uh, I could use it with my GoPro Hero Max. Uh, you could use it just about any action camera that connects to an adapter like this. I'm a real big fan. And if you're interested, I'll put the link down in the description. And it's only $16.99. So, and they run deals all the time. So, I'm sh right now the deal that I saw was that it's only $13.99. Normally $16.99, so save three bucks. All right, I'm about to hook up the GoPro Max to my bike. So this is the setup I generally use for the GoPro Max. And all it is is a connection to my bars and it connects to like two balls. And it sets up like that. So right here, I have a little bit a good amount of clearance and whatnot but I want to be able to like really get down a downward view like on me the road and whatnot so I'm gonna use this setup to make that happen so I'm gonna set it up with the, the largest one see how that looks and then right here com comes with some o-rings Pull that apart and grab an O-ring. I'm just gonna set just like that. Got the connect the bolt. And since my Harley shakes so much, or any Harley does, and this piece of equipment is rather expensive, I want to make sure it's on there tight, so that way there's no possible chance of it falling. So I'm going to use the wrench that it comes with. So it's on there nice and tight. And put another washer on there. wrench again all right so with it set that high and sitting on the bike so there's a, a pretty substantial height difference right here so this is gonna be great for like getting footage on me as well as the road and it's a full 360 so up down left right it, it records it all so now i'm going to be able to get more dynamic shots for my videos moto vlogs and whatnot so this thing is pretty freaking cool i highly recommend getting one after playing with it for a while now I'm sold, I'm a huge fan. And I got three different sizes I can use. I could even use the smaller ones on my helmet. So I have a nice gap so I can see the screen well. And after hooking that up, I still have more washers, another screw, and two more extension arms. Out of the two things that was sent to me, 
I'm gonna have to say that the chin strap mount is my favorite. Although the extension arm is gonna be great for capturing some dynamic 360 video on my GoPro Max. I I'm, I'm stoked. I am glad HSU reached out to me. Um, I'm a big fan of their company. I've been buying their action camera accessories for some time now. Probably ever since I started moto vlogging. Going through some of the parts, buying even more HSU stuff that I've ordered in the past. And I'm stoked that they reached out to me. Um, if you're interested in this, I'll put the link down in the description for both of them. As well as their website. They're also on Amazon as well. So they're easy to get a hold of. Order the order what you need and whatnot. I the price is fantastic, like but compared to buying GoPro named accessories and whatnot. So you can't go wrong buying any of this. So if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that bell. We're about to do our 3,000 subscriber giveaway, so you're not gonna want to miss that. We got Odin gloves. Uh, we got a beanie from CMC Motorsports. Uh, we're gonna have some. Barricade Ride shirts as well, and heated gloves from Kimimoto, as well as leather gloves from Kimimoto. So, lots of good stuff. Uh, possibly more prizes will be added. I'm not sure yet. And as always, brothers and sisters, stay safe and ride your ride.